Greetings colleagues, my name is Jovan Milojković and with Professor Vladimir Sjeric and Professor Dejan Rančić I, we prepared a paper uh, for this conference called Design and Implementation of Cluster-Based Parallel System for Software Testing. We all are from Department of Computer Science, Faculty of Electronic Engineering, Niche, Serbia. What was the main motivation? We wanted to reduce uh, the parameter called cycle time and in order to do that we changed the, de the deployment pipeline process. So we propose a system that parallelizes software testing within the deployment pipeline process. The proposed system increases hardware usage for the process execution and reduces the cycle time parameter. Okay, so before we start with the system uh, we are giving some definitions of the terms we will be using. So what is the cycle time? A cycle time is a time which passes when we want a change to be made in our system to will actually that change being implemented in our system in production. What is continuous integration? Continuous integration represents a, method, a methodology which states that after every change made to the system, the system should go through the deployment pipeline. What is product testing? Product testing is a part of a verification and validation process. We will discuss furtherly those mentioned terms. So what is the main idea? The main idea is the parallelization of automated testing in deployment pipeline in order to reduce the cycle time. We propose the system which has uh, two parallelization techniques. First is parallelization with processes and second is parallelization at container levels. The system will be implemented on cloud and the containers will be used, the, the Docker containers will be used. Uh, what is system testing? We already told you that. So, system tests gave uh, us the description of how the system is working. A main goal of a test is to uh, show us errors in the system, is to discover or find errors in the system that is being tested. Namely, there are mainly, sorry, there are three main strategies that are being used currently in the software development process. So we have black box testing, white box testing, and gray box testing. For this system, we only made black box tests. Uh, here in a diagram we see the making of a um, test case, the making of a test result and the making of a test report. So in order uh, to in order to in order so that we can be able to run the tests on a system we firstly need to make a test case, we need to get the test data, we need to implement that test so that it can be run on a system. After that, we can run the test on the system, we can gather the result of the results, we can compare the results to the results that are written in test case, and we can make a test report. Uh, this is, for our purposes, okay from the theory from software testing. So now let's go to deployment pipeline. What is the deployment pipeline? Deployment pipeline represents automated manifestation of getting the product from some version control system through build phase, test phase, and in the end we can do a release phase or a deploy phase. The deployment pipeline is one instance of the given process. Deployment pipeline consists of several stages. Here in this diagram we show deployment pipeline which consists of five stages. We go to the next stage only if the previous stage was passed correctly. There are many tools for uh, software testing like Bamboo, Jenkins, Cruise Control, Cephus, etc. All those tools can run several deployment pipeline processes in parallel but as a whole. However, they do not parallelize. Uh, they do not parallelize testing inside of one deployment pipeline process, and that is what our system is doing. We mentioned earlier we use uh, two parallelization techniques. One is with processes. So parallelization using processes consists of dividing the test all test cases 
into disjoint test groups and running them in parallel throughout different processes. That's that. Another technique that we are using is containers. Token containers can be used to encapsulate several processes along with their scheduler and can be executed on one node. So if we have several nodes, we can execute several containers in parallel, thus giving us a second level of parallelization. Test cases that are run uh, on containers uh, represent, uh, re re represent sorry, the disjoint groups of tests. So we firstly split uh, tests to containers and these are disjoint groups as well. So and in a container, we split the tests, the test groups into more test groups, which are also disjoint. So we can achieve two levels of uh, parallelization. Now let's go to the design and implementation of uh, our proposed system. The system is divided in three parts. We have application that is being tested, that's ca application calculator from the diagram. We have test framework and we have test scheduler. The architecture of the system is shown in diagram and we will start from the bottom. So application that is being tested is calculator application, TCP connection is used. Uh, so that uh, the calculator uh, the calculator application can be tested through the TCP connection we send and receive commands to process calculator. Next uh, component of the system is testing framework. It consists of several components. We have process calculator. It encapsulates uh, the function it, it encapsulates the process calculator so it can start the calculator, it can end it, it can send some commands and etc. We have a command that is the generalization of any command used in a system. We have a test that is the generalization of one test. We have a test case which represents the, uh, the specialization of test and it represents one test case in our system. Test cases are all test cases that are there in the system and we have one file which we use that's tests config. It is the configuration of all the test cases in a system. Now, uh, the last component is Python scheduler uh, and the Python scheduler component makes the parallelization possible. This component splits, uh, split tests depending on the environment configuration and run test cases in parallel. It consists of server, connection handler and client. Client server split the test and knows which client should run which test. Connection handler represents a connection handler to the client. So it yeah, represents the connection handler to the client from server to client. And at the end we have client. It represents a process in a process parallelization technique. So one client can run in sequence the test cases which he got from server. Um, clients on, uh, and servers are started with a script. Only one server exists, but the number of clients dictates the number of parallel processes uh, which are testing the software product in parallel. Uh, in the end, we have a, container, a containerization of uh, our system. So the image that will be run in Docker container is the image of the whole system giving us another level of par uh, parallelization. Throughout the environment configuration, the parameters of the process parallelization are being communicated to the container, which means that when we start the container, we firstly communicate the environment configuration to it. Every container knows which group of sets it can run and knows how many clients in it should uh, be run. So when a container starts, it gets the configuration and starts the server and clients from the Python scheduler. At the end, we have implementation results. So firstly, let's do the cluster description. Cluster consists of three physical servers and six, which all have six physic uh, physical processors, uh, 24 logical processors and uh, 334 gigabytes of RAM memory in total. The operating system uh, is VMware SAX and it is run on a cluster. We have 10 virtual machines on the cluster and they all have Docker and Swarm installed. All virtual machines are the same and they're running Ubuntu 16.04. All virtual machines have two logical CPUs and eight, gig and eight gigabytes of RAM each. Uh, measurement description. 
So, uh, here the most important uh, part is the pattern that we are using. So the pattern uh, is shown here, xn, xk, xc and xt. xn is the number of nodes. Uh, in the measurement, xk is the number of containers, xc is the number of clients, and xt stands for the number of tests in one container. So xt is number of text tests only but in one container. In each measurement, in each graph, the y axis stands for execution time, while the x axis represents different measurement patterns. So let's go now to the measurements. The first measurement is 10A, 1K, X, C and 72 tests. So there are 72 tests and we change the number of clients in a measurement. We change it so that we increase it. We start with one client, then we have two clients, then three, etc, etc. It can be read, it can be read on a paper how the measurement goes. Here we show that the, the parallelization of clients works. So we are having only one container on 10 nodes. And we increase the number of, the number of clients uh, in that container and the number of tests in that cont container is constant. So he, we can see here that the parallelization of clients works. The time needed to execute 72 tests is getting smaller when we increase the number of clients. It's similar here, but the measurement is 10A, XK, 1C and X10. Uh, so we also run uh, in total 72 tests, but for example, if we have two containers, then in each container we have 36 tests. Th uh, that's why XT parameter is XT. But in total we only have 72 tests. Um, this graph here represents that the parallelization using containers works as well. This is the parallelization using all the containers. So we have 72 tests in a system and we're increasing the number of containers which runs those 72 tests. This is the last measurement and uh, in my opinion it is the most exciting one. Here the measurement is called 10N, XK, X, uh, C and XT. So, we have 72 tests in total and here we go from parallelization with clients so the first measurement uses 24 clients and we change the parallelization parameters so that at the end we only have parallelization with the containers here we can see that it's uh, the best uh, the best result is when we use containers and clients as well. So when we use both of them, sorry. In the conclusion, so in this paper we did um, concepts of de deployment pipeline were presented and we propose an improvements to parallelization, uh, an improvements to deployment pipeline in, or in order to reduce cycle time. Uh, techniques that can be used for parallelization are proposed, the architecture of the proposed system is shown and evaluated and at the end the evaluation is, of the system showed that the best results were achieved with the compromise between parallelization using processes and parallelization using containers. So both parallelization technique, uh, techniques should be used in order to get uh, the most uh, in order to get the best results now let's go to the questions and answers so the first question is can you provide some details on specifics of the solution proposed when compared with the tools widely available on the web okay so we mentioned some of the tools here there are other tools as well but to our knowledge, there is not a tool which gives all the customers parallelization technique for, te techniques for their uh, testing process inside the deployment pipeline. So all the tools give us, yes, uh, that branch goes to the, through the deployment pipeline and everything is sequential. Yeah, you can change uh, the order, but everything is sequential. The testing is sequential. 
so we made, we made an improvement there uh, we can integrate our tool with the existing tools and uh, we think that it can be used um, in future for customers who are uh, doing uh, software uh, development so the second question is what would be the commercial potential of your approach to kickstart a s s a s a a s for customers so uh i think i already gave a bit of the answer uh previously so yes we can make a service so that the customer just give us, uh, just gives us their code say us how to build it and uh, say us you should run these tests and the customer could specify how much resources uh, does he want to be used uh, the pricing of those resource, resources etc etc and I think that we can provide um, new features to the system we already have and make the customers uh, requests possible thank you for your attention